Here are the recommended supplies you use before you start the repair of the glass in the rear of your iPhone. One is eye protection because little pieces of glass are going to flick off when you do the repair. Uh, this is a mask, face mask, for the same reason you get little pieces of glass and you don't want them to get in your mouth or your nose. And finally, I like to wear gloves to protect your hands from anything sharp. Um, I did wear gloves to protect against heat also when I used the heat gun, but that's optional because you will not be aiming the heat gun at your gloves. Uh, so once again, these two items are most important, the glasses and the face mask, particularly the glasses. Hello, I uh, ran over my iPhone with a uh, car. You see the side with the tempered glass did not break. However, the side without the tempered glass cracked. I've already removed these pieces. Um, I bought a kit from Amazon, which includes a new back that adheres to the rear of the phone, which will be this metal plate with uh, 3M tape. Uh, and of course, there are methods where you can use adhesive. Anyway, Apple wants $600 to repair this. And the purchase I made at Amazon for the rear was only $20. So I think it's a really good value if I can get this done. So I've been using a hair dryer because my heat gun, I think, is too hot. It's recommended uh, by one person uh, repairing these phones on the YouTube to use 200 degrees Celsius and my heat gun heats up to uh, 575, I think, on one setting and 400 on another. So I just use this old Conair uh, uh, hair dryer set on medium, and it seems to be working. We'll see. So, by the way, I'm wearing safety goggles and gloves also, so I don't cut myself. Um, I start with the X-Acto knife, peeling up the edge here, like that actually got in here and this took I've spent probably five minutes on this part right here and I'm gonna work on peeling up the rest of it. these spudgers it's a word I hadn't known before the spudgers a peeling device and look how nicely this one works it works so that right there is the uh, coil for this thing and I never use this thing for surface charging, so I don't care if it works, but you should be careful around there. Regarding the safety glasses, I did feel little pieces flick into my face before when I first started. That is why you want to wear this stuff. Oops. I got some in my mouth just before I spit it out. Oh, be careful. In fact, I might cover it with something so it didn't just shoot everywhere. I'm going to show you. I've experimented with different methods to remove the back glass. There are little particles that go flying everywhere, so I think it's safer to aim it away from yourself. I am wearing a mask, which is definitely required, I would say. Um, and then this is just a slow, tedious process. Now, you see I'm wearing gloves also, so I don't have to worry about injuring my hand if I slip. Um, This is an X-Acto knife that came with it. I have other blades. If this one is starting to get dull, which it seems like it is, um, because it seems to be the most effective tool right now, because the spudgers are too thick and can't get under the glass um, and separate it from the, what I assume is aluminum backing. So you can see it's a little tedious. Sometimes bigger pieces come off, but it's definitely 
working. Um, It'll be interesting to see if the coil still works. You can see when I took those first few pieces off, I went fairly deep with the spudger and um, separated that coil. But I think it's continuous and therefore should work. So I'll do some more come back. Okay, I just want to give you an update. This is now 35 minutes of peeling. It is as far as we've gotten. Um, there's a stubborn area right here. I still haven't gotten around the camera. And of course I have to do the other half. So next I'm going to try using the heat gun because I think the hair dryer doesn't get hot enough to melt the epoxy. So I'm going to try that, heat this up for a little bit, and then see if I can pull off some more of the backing glass. Okay, this is now um, approximately two hours it took me to get all that stuff off. And it's pretty good. Unfortunately, right at the beginning, I went in with the, uh, what is this thing called, spudger? And I accidentally removed some of that. But I think it's, it still may work, and I don't charge like that anyway. Um, so now we're gonna take the actual cover, hopefully it'll All those little pieces, by the way, are the little pieces of glass. Um, okay, so let's see what this back looks like. Look at that, friends. That is a new phone. So it looks. And of course, it lost its waterproofness when it got cracked, so don't expect it to be waterproof. Maybe water resistant, but it looks really good. Really interesting how the uh, protective front glass didn't break when it was run over. Two hours work, 20 minutes. Is it worth it? Uh, I think it was worth it. <laughs> Because to bring it somewhere to get fixed, I have to spend probably an hour traveling. So, and I know it got done right. Well, I don't know how you can not do it right, but I'll have to check and see if the uh, charging works as well from the uh, coil. Thank you. The uh, repair is complete and it does charge on the charging station. So you can see. So everything's working. And it's in its case. What is it?